Good morning, Internet, and welcome to a... Not a tech tip video, more of a state of the game and a world gym video. So they just did an update uh, where they added world traits. So I thought we'd take a look at a few of those and see if you guys uh, have any opinions on what my next playthrough should be. Now, first of all, let's just go back to here. They still have the large bases and the clusters. Come on. So they've added Oceana and World Traits. So that's kind of what we're looking at is you see these colored dots. So this one has Geoactive, Large Boulders, and Trapped Oil, Slime Molds, Frozen Friend. Frozen Friend is interesting. It means that that planet has one of the uh, cryo tanks with a duplicate in it. Crash Satellites, I'm guessing that's just a radioactive satellite. Metal Rich, interesting. But if we go to the clusters, they added more clusters. So over here in the clusters, we have our original, you know, standard forest swamp. But now there is metallic swampy asteroid, frozen forest asteroid, badlands, flipped, which means there's lava at the top, and radioactive ocean. And then they've added traits, and I've played around with this a little bit, and I've seen a couple of interesting traits I want to see if we can take a look at. Slime molds, metal pour, like not everything gets a trait. This one doesn't seem to be doing much. I need to get more with other ones. What I was looking for... There we go. This one I want to look at. This is a superconductive asteroid with a lush core and a frozen asteroid with a lush core. So obviously we're going to go into debug mode and take a look around. Alright, so it doesn't really matter what duplicates I pick, so I'll just let you skip that. And as you see, this looks like the standard swampy start. Because I went straight into debug mode, uh, some of the geysers sometimes don't spawn. So don't worry about that, we're kind of looking at the planets. So over here, uh, this one's metal rich. And see, it's uh, pretty tiny. So these asteroids are not big. Oh, we do have geysers. Perfect, so we have some gold volcanoes. That's awesome. Copper volcano. Aluminum. Cobalt. Wow, all, all the metal volcanoes. That's a heck of a start. A minor volcano. Um, natural gas geyser. You know what this doesn't have? There's no water source. There's no water vent. No, no, that's not my starting planet. What's my starting planet? That's my starting planet. Gold, cobalt, copper, aluminum, minor volcano, natural gas, and chlorine. There's no water over here. So, let's see, this one, natural gas, hot, polluted, cool, steam vent. Is this the one with the teleporter? No. So this one doesn't have the teleporter. This one looks like Badlands. Lot of oil. Yeah, I don't think the geysers... Uh, loaded. Uh, chlorine, natural gas, cool slush, liquid sulfur, hydrogen. This is the one with the teleporter. That's interesting. How is the rock already solidifying? Weird. Okay, but you got a crash satellite, you got your teleporters. Some of the vents spawned, some didn't. Yeah, some did, some didn't. But that's okay. This up here tells us what we've got. So chlorine, natural gas, cool slush, liquid sulfur, and hydrogen. Uh, this one is subsurface... Oh yeah, this is another new world gen. So you end up with these magma on top planets. Somewhere they have a core. That core may or may not be uh, protected. So 
So you see there's broken abyss light right here, so you can't just come straight through. But a lot of them have this kind of world gen where there's some column that is easier to dig through than straight up magma. And so what do you have? You have sulfur, oxygen, carbon dioxide, hot oxygen. The water planet's pretty much the water planet. That would be the gassy moose. Here we are. Lush core. So here is our niobium planet with neutronium on top, exposed magma, and a forest core. Now normally stuff would spawn in here, but like I said, I went straight into debug mode so some stuff doesn't spawn correctly. But yeah, so now you can actually come over here if it's got a lush core and end up with a planet you can live on. All right, what did you get? Yeah, same thing on the ice planet. All ice on top and a lush core on the bottom. And there might be plants or pips if I didn't go straight into debug. That is super interesting. But this whole starting planet with no... That's not my starting planet. A starting planet with no water source. Now, this is swamp, so you've got polluted mud. You've got mud. Like, you can definitely make a lot of water. you just got to know ahead of time that immediately go to the star map, click on your planet, and see if you have a, go a water source. If you don't, um, plan for it or stop and reload. All right, let me get out of this one and then we'll make a new one. And let's look at the next one. So we have a frozen forest. Let's see if we get something interesting. Metal rich, frozen friend, radioactive crust. That's another one we want to look at. And I'll pause you while I generate some dupes. And here we are on a forest starter, forest starting asteroid. So we got a crushed satellite on this one. Again, we got the stuff solidifying. That's interesting. Oh, sometimes this gets out of sequence. That's my fault. So let's see, starting point is... We'll well then, yes. You see, it gets out of sequence where I've got to go into deep mode backwards and forwards. That's right, we will go through. So cool slush, natural gas, chlorine. And this is where we teleport to. So we do have a frozen friend over here in a nice oil biome. And chlorine inflections. All right. That would be all of our... Uh, metal Volcanoes. Yeah, see so they all spawned this time. Alright, so all that looks pretty standard. This is that new planet. So again, this one's got that upside down magma with the little column. And it's broken again. I wonder if that's always... Let's pay attention if we always see that... Uh, regolith or er, mafic rock being melted or er, broken. But what I wanted to see was over here on the is it this one? Yeah, so you end up with this point of interest building where there is a frozen friend on the asteroid. So you can now find uh, frozen friends. Oh, and you get a data bank out of it. So you can now find frozen friends on other planets other than your starting one. All right, and that would be the radioactive thing. Where is that one? Ah, there. Okay, so this one's got the subsurface ocean. So you got the saltwater geyser. This looks just like the point of interest building from the base game. Am I not seeing it on the map? Well, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That's a lot of asteroids. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 
Ah, it's that one. Okay, I was looking for the temp art, which is here, but there it's fine. Oh, it's also got a polluted water vent. Neat. Yeah, so lots of interesting stuff. Oh, I gotta click over here. Oh, it's that one. There we go. Yeah. So lots of interesting stuff. I'm kind of curious as to why that stuff is uh, solidifying so early in the game. I should have prefaced this at the very beginning, but I'll say it now and probably later. This is brand new, as you can tell by the temp art. This is actively in development, so anything you see here will probably have changed by the time you see this. And if you've definitely watched this at any point in the future, they've definitely made updates. So I'll try to put that in the description of the video. Let's look at another base. Badlands is the one I actually want to do a playthrough on, but we'll see how people vote. Radioactive Crust, that's one I do want to see. Lush Core, we've seen. There's another one. Let's see if we can't find it. Radioactive Crushed. Lush Core, no. There are other traits. Subsurface ocean, that might be interesting on that. I have seen the uh, Niobium planet and, oh, what am I thinking of? The tungsten planet with frozen core, which is all sorts of weird when your tungsten volcanoes start in uh, start the case tonight. Radioactive Crust is one that I want to see, but there's one more I thought comes up. There it is. Slime molds. So this should be the Badlands start. And let's open all this up. And we have natural gas. Doesn't, because it's so tiny, it's not quite the same as uh, regular Badlands. I, Badlands uh, in the base game was my favorite start. Like it was always such a challenge to have a small starting biome surrounded by granite where you couldn't get a whole lot of useful stuff out of it. But because these asteroids are so small, you, you've kind of got everything. But we've got water, we've got power, we've got oil. Like, this is a really good start. Oh, I did this again. Okay. So what do we got? Oh, and hydrogen. So we have water, water, hydrogen. That is like, wow, that, that's awesome. Over here, hydrogen, natural gas, and water. And magma. Okay, that's cooling off. And this should be the one we teleport to? No, this is the Metal Volcano one. So, Volcanoes and Magma, Natural Gas. And here's the Radioactive with lots of water. Polluted water, cool slush, cool steam, salt water. Yeah, so you have Uranium and all of the water on the planet. And this is the one you teleport to. That is an interesting place to teleport to. Like, you get water and you get uranium, but not a whole lot else. Interesting. I wonder if it picks at random what you teleport to now. Because we didn't see that. No. I mean, you can still only teleport to one planet. These planets are still pretty much the same. This is the Galaxy Moon planet. A uh, regular planet is still awful. I don't think we got anything interesting. Uh, just the lush core again on the Niobium planet, which again gives you a chance of actually living here. No pip spawn, but we got arbor trees. 
We got dirt, we got water, like just a whole bunch of stuff that makes landing there easier. Tungsten planet is, yeah, this one's pretty standard. Hydrogen, natural gas, I mean, that just makes it easy. Yeah, and now you can get slime mold. But all the slime is pretty much dying off. Oh, and a lush core. So we got slime mold and lush core in the ice planet, which just makes living there so much easier. And then the water planet, that one's standard. Yeah, so th that is the way this generates. Every time this generates, we have seen these two tiles of mafic rock over here that will then let heat just spread right through. It'll probably melt the mafic rock. What does that melt at? 1409? Yeah, it might not, but it's going to spread some heat in here and get hot. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this kind of overview as to what the new world gen traits are. Again, they will be changing them because it's a game in active development. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think. I'm really partial to trying the Badlands start. It's It doesn't look nearly as challenging as the base game Badlands start, but it could definitely be a lot of fun, especially if you start with oil and low water. So thank you very much to the developers for you know, making the game better, adding new stuff. Everyone, make sure you're thanking them because you know games in development are fun to play. And thank you to all the people who watch the videos. I really do appreciate the comments. If you have ideas or want to see something, let me know. I enjoy playing the game. I've now been playing it for quite some time and they keep adding stuff, which makes it even more fun to start a new playthrough. So I hope you're all just having a wonderful day. I'm going to grab some coffee and probably start a playthrough.